So it looks like the Simeonix apps for both the PFD and the MFDG 1000 appear to function with Flight Sim 2024. I haven't tested all the functionality and my connection does seem to be a little freaky, but it has me in the right location, KGNX. The radio frequencies all match. 127,850, 127,850, and I did not put any of these in. Uh, the engine numbers, are they matching? Let's see, we got five and 640, and we got 10 and 630. So maybe not quite the same there, but we go here, and let's go ahead and see how it functions. Little, little parking brakes. Out here wider. Get my fingers out of the picture. And let's see if it records my actual. Appears to be recording my speed. Seems to be pretty close. And we're up. Altitude 180, 180, speed 92, speed 92, gear up. Outer marker, I think, no, I'm not sure what that is. Not the outer marker. I'm actually not sure what that is, but let's tune down a little bit here. So it does appear to be functioning quite properly. It does not appear to be any display delays or lagging. I'm not sure why I'm not hearing the engine. Well, let's, uh, Get this nose down. What the heck is going on here? Okay, not that much, not that much. Oh, nice towers over there in the background. Okay, there we go. Towers over here. Speed 131, speed 131. So yeah, that definitely is functioning. So let's go back to the other and let's change our range. Oops, wrong button, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, for goodness sakes, clear, clear. Oh. Sorry about that. Well, that doesn't seem to have picked up because that still has me at the airport right now. So this one seems to be a little funky. Let's uh, relaunch the MFD. See if it connects. It may not while the flight's in progress. I may have to work on that one. But this one, once it catches back up, oh, it's trying to reconnect. There we go. Oops, same connection lost. Oh, there we go. FS20. 20, which it isn't. I'm actually in FS2024. But as you can see, it is functioning here. And we can get our bezel up if we want. We can change our menus. So we have all our features here. Now, I don't know. Mm. Let's see what can I change here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I put the inset there, but it does not pop up there. So I think, <coughs> excuse me, for it to go, the communication to go back to the sim, it requires, I think, another piece of software. but it is definitely functioning on my iPad. Simeonix G1000 app for the iPad. PFD and MFD. There's also a G1000 NXI. The PFD and MFD are each 999 US dollars. 
the NXI version is $19.95, which I think will probably be well worth it. Thanks for watching.